Howdy. So um, with the new snowfalls that we're all getting here on the West Coast, I was looking at updating my uh, my traction devices. I've used a couple of these things and I'll talk about them real quick. These are called Yak Tracks. Um, they work good on like ice. So if you're on an a, um, ice rink, they work great. Uh, they work good on smooth uh, kind of uh, ice. If it's rough and just and uh, uh, not even, uh, they're going to be worse. So um, I don't think these would take a place in anybody's backpack on any snow anywhere. It's most they're good if you're jogging in, and then they're good if you're in New York and the sidewalks are iced up, perfect. But in uh, snow, not so good. So in the past, I've used Catula micro spikes, and they're okay. Um, their their spikes are three eighths of an inch long, and um, I'll show you show you that. Just picture. Um, so three eighths of an inch is okay. Um, it's okay if the snow is firm. It's okay if the snow is icy. Um, but once it gets slushy, they really don't work. It, it's just amazing. You'd think they would grab on. Um, we were walking across uh, just plain sun cups. Uh, this was up near Carson Pass, and they're just they would slide down into the cups. So it's like oh, that's not too great. So. I investigated other Catula spikes, and these are the uh, uh, larger uh, spikes that, that you would hike with. So the thing with crampons, with real mountaineering crampons, is uh, two things. They're meant for rigid boots, in that you, you can put your, your boot into the, into the mountaineering crampon, you can crank down on the uh, strap as tight as you can, and that makes it real stable. And they're not meant to flex. So uh, these, are, you know, flex great. <laughs> um, mountaineering crampons don't flex. So they wouldn't work for most trail runners, well, for all trail runners, uh, because they can't flex. And because in order to, to, to just tighten it down really tight, uh, you, it would be very painful. Uh, so Catula has kind of played with that idea of, well, how can we make a more aggressive uh, crampon uh, that would work with, with uh, uh, shoot, with, with just plain uh, just trail runners. So this, this was their answer. They come in this big box or big bag. And uh, so I'll show you one. So these will like slide apart. Um, and then what you do is you just uh, uh, fix uh, which size boot this fits to. The weird part about these is they only come up to like a size 13. Now I wear a size 13, but um, Altris have like a bigger sole than a 13. It's not like a 13 stops. They go and they flare out. So the 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 Olympus won't won't fit in this back in this back area here. It, it's 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 too uh, sharp, and they'll do okay in the toe. So the problem with uh, if you try to put mountaineering crampons on your shoe is that on your trail shoe is that your foot would slide out because they're not really designed to to have have a flexible shoe. So Catula uh, uh, try to fix that by putting these little uh, bars on, and they work great. Uh, those are those are good, so it requires less of a uh, uh, tight fit right in here. So you, you don't really have to crank them down to where they hurt. Uh, they work pretty good, and you'll see that this does flex. See, that's the deal, babies. That it being able to do that is the trick. Mountaineering ones don't do that, and this is a three-fourths inch spike, and it's amazing how much better that that uh, works. They work awesome. <laughs> Problem is. Man, they're bulky. You put two of these together and you put them, you know, spikes in. Yes, these compress a little bit, but that's a lot of bulk. And that's a lot of, I think they're 21 ounces. So uh, um, the micro spikes, I think, were 14 ounces. Uh, so I love these, but I wouldn't want to carry them in my backpack. They're good for for day hikes or that, that kind of thing. You're just, just going to go out and play. Um, so the Catula micro spikes that I had for a long time, those were 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, the ones that work great are three-fourths of an inch. Well, there must be some kind of, of just in-between. Long spikes are better. Mountaineering spikes are about an inch and a half. <laughs> that would work great in the snow, <laughs> but, you know, they're, they're too bulky, even if they could design ones. ones that... So the advantages of shorter spikes is that they're more comfortable when you walk on harder surfaces. Uh, when you're on a trail, it's not just snow. It, it's snow, then it's dry, gravelly trail, then it's snow, then it's dry, gravelly trail, and if you stop and take off your traction devices every time that becomes uh, very old um, so uh, the problem with uh, these then would be that uh, 
it'd be real hard to walk on the gravel. It'd be really uncomfortable for too long. And if there's rocks uh, or you're going down large boulders, they might be more prone to trying to slip a little bit. Uh, so the, the shorter spikes are more comfortable on dry trails. So um, these are too, too wimpy. These are nice, but too heavy and uh, too bulky. So Hillsound came up with a kind of a in-between. So these are, they're just Hillsound spikes. So, so the Catulas are 3 eighths. Um, these are a 5 eighths of an inch spike. So they're a quarter inch longer. And I'll compare them to the, to the 3 4 inch spikes. So you can see that they're uh, not as aggressive, but they're pretty close. Um, so I guess this is gonna be about as good as it's gonna, gonna, gonna get. These weigh about a, a two ounces more than the Catula microspikes, but um, I just didn't feel comfortable walking across steep snowbanks um, where the snow is mushy. You know, forget about trying to just post hauling. That's a whole separate thing. Where the snow is mushy, and I um, and I didn't feel as confident. So we'll see. Um, actually, these are cheaper than the Catulas. Uh, so we'll we'll I'll see how they work. One note on these. If you're wearing trail runners, um, like I wear a size 13 and it says to uh, buy the large, uh, that I tried that on, it didn't, didn't work as too tight. Uh, so, so this is an extra large for a 13. So if you're pushing the upper border of their size chart, you might want to go up to the next size and, and uh, try that on. These have a, uh, a uh, uh, Velcro that can go over the top to kind of just keep them more steady. Um, the only time I think that would be of use is if you post hole and your foot is down in the snow, you try to yank your foot back up so you don't leave the, the spike down at the bottom of the postal. That would be a bummer. <laughs> then you got to get down there and dig it out. So those are my thoughts on micro spikes. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun spring <laughs> dropping through the snow. I hope that helps somebody, so we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.